I'm so tired and it's breakfast time, but I don't know what to have. What should I eat for my breakfast? So I've woken up a little bit. What am I going to have for breakfast? It's the dilemma I have every morning and um, yeah, what are we going to do today? I have my friend Emily who's Hi. a professional breakfast server and she's going to teach us what to do when you don't know what to do and you just stumble out or you know get yourself out from your bed to another part of the house what are you going to eat that's healthy something that's good for you breakfast is the most important meal of the day right so what have we got here so we have some just right we have some bread oh we have a toaster <laughs> Oh, I've never seen one before. <laughs> we have two bowls. We have two plates. Okay, okay, bowls and plates. I've got it. And most kitchens will have a set of drawers oh. with spoons and knives. We need one knife, two spoons. You know what they should invent? That's not the splayed and not the spork, but like all three in one. Yes. I'm sure there's like, like an attached. I'm sure. It's, it's so probably someone has. So now the question comes where we think, do I want cereal or do I want toast or do I want both? Oh, so I didn't even know that both is an option. It's a small decision, even when you don't want to make a decision, okay. but it's one that most human beings <laughs> have the potential to make when they get up in the morning because okay. they know they need breakfast. All right. Well, so can I have a little bit of both? Sure. So toast the breakfast, the bread, let's say. And we pull out a slice of bread and we pop it in the toaster. I'm going to have toast as well. Okay. Pull out a slice of bread and pop it in the toaster. Let's leave that cereal so that everybody can see. <laughs> On our toaster, we have oh. a handle here. Yeah. And that can be pushed down. Oh, I see. Down. Okay. For the toaster to start. But before we do that, we want to check there's um, settings, one okay. to six, of the temperature or the amount that we want to cook oh. the bread. That's really important. And then we also have a defrost, reheat, or a cancel if you're not oh, sure what's going on. Okay, when would we use the cancel so button? So the cancel button, if we're, we've put it on, say, number five, we can smell, oh, that's smelling a bit too cooked for me. Cancel. I want my okay. toast right now. Okay, so if it's on fire, press cancel. So, or if it's on fire, and then um, call. I recommend. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to put that down. I recommend... Um, depending how you like your toast, if you like it really light, I like it golden brown. So you want to aim for about one or two. Okay. If you like a golden brown, I'm usually um, looking at about three. Okay. So I'm going to pop that down. And let's see how we go. Let's make sure that there's no sorry. Oh, first thing, first thing, ladies and gentlemen, is to make sure the PowerPoint's turned on. I'm not a mistake. I was I'm talking with some of my friends about how, like, standing at the toaster and then kind of like your memory, you had a memory lapse in you. What am I doing? <laughs> Where am I? And then, oh, and then the toes like popped out. <gasps> oh, that's right. I was making breakfast. So I've jumped ahead. Sorry, with the cereal. Oh, um, no, please. <laughs> and what we want to do, most cereal packaging will have an inside plastic packaging. Mm. Hopefully we're getting less and less. You know, I haven't eaten cereal for about two years, so this will be really helpful for me. Just right. Choice of Lenny's parents. Low in salt, high in fiber, very high in whole grains, which is fantastic for digestion and overall health. Um, I won't go through the ingredients, but basically what we want to do is just pour a portion into your bowl. Into, into the bowl, not on the plate. I get it. Into the bowl. So we use a bowl. So there's some sultanas, some dried grapes. Oat grain, all helpful. Okay. And I've heard it's better to get like a this kind of whole grain, low GI one rather than just your cocoa pops and your fruit loops. Yeah, because you get your energy and then you just oh, crash and burn yeah. like a three year old. They're basically party food, <laughs> <laughs> holiday food. So 
Um, cereal can be put aside. We're done. Oh, okay. We don't need we don't need anything more in that cereal packet. Do you eat it raw? Um, what we need is milk, baby. I'm done with milk. Because I mean, some people enjoy raw milk. Um, Raw milk. <laughs> Please come back. <laughs> we don't do much editing on chronic cooking. <laughs> it's life. This is what it's like. When you're in, you know, when you're in the morning, when you wake up in the it's morning, really helpful and to be just, awake, and you just when you're filming, and you're just pouring the milk onto the plate. Um, so there are different types of milk for okay. different families in this household. There's A2 milk, <laughs> which are naturally A1 protein free, no additives. No permeate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A1 and A2. So this is A2. A1 is one with additives. That's the other brand. That's the other brand. <laughs> uh, and this is A2 milk as well. Yes. So I've got a corner there. So what would you like? I will have full cream, full cream please. Okay. So we unscrew the lid uh -huh. and we pour the milk on top of the cereal just enough oh. to cover. Okay. Okay. So I see that there's some that's like the iceberg just above sea level and then yeah. the rest is just fine. enough to let that cereal comfortably sit in the milk. You don't want too much because you'll lose your crunch. Look at but we've got some beautiful golden brown toast here. And we pull out the toast, pop it on a plate. And now another decision to make is what <laughs> topping <laughs> we're adding on our toast. I think there's jam as well. Jam. We have Meadow Lee ingredients made simple. It's got the Heart Foundation ticks, so that's a oh, okay. really important option if you like your margarine. And we've got some butter soft, which is unsalted as well. And it's going to be delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up only having margarine, and then Same my way. sister in law like buys this butter soft butter when she wants to pre make like a garlic butter. And so she'll just get some, what do you call that, crushed garlic and the butter soft and just, whoosh, and then it's like an instant garlic bread butter. She puts it back Yum. in the bread. Wow, butter soft. So I tried it and it's delicious. It is delicious. Which is and why I'm like you can delicious. spread it rather than getting your hunk of butter and yeah, I can't spread it. So yeah, it's very easy. My tip is to put on too much because then it'll taste extra good and yeah. be, I give you a bit of that. extra. Yeah. <laughs> so my sister, um, if you do want to save on butter costs, I don't know how much time it costs. <laughs> I don't know how much they cost either. My friend got this but one for me. When you live in a cold climate, um, mm -hmm. and her family happens to live in a mountain climate, what you do is put the butter in a Tupperware container and put it in the cupboard. If you know you're going to use it the next day and it softens it. Right. Apparently, still keeps it yeah, cold, especially if you're like yeah, in a cold place. Um, the outside is the same as the fridge. Pretty much so. exactly the same in their environment. Yep. Okay. So when we've finished spreading the butter, we can pop the lid back on, and the butter can go back in the fridge. And we have, as let me say, a selection of apricot jam, we've got peanut butter, and then honey. Mm. Um. Yeah. So what would you like? Well, I've been having peanut butter on toast for about three years straight, so I think it's time to branch out. Can I have honey, please? Wow. Change. I just encountered a problem with our breakfast setup because yeah. we're making toast and our cereal's going soggy. Oh so, no! So we should. This is what I do. <laughs> Go into multitask. We just start eating our cereal oh, okay. as we eat and cook at the same time as we're spreading out. Okay, I'll just let you spread and I'll taste it. Cut this out of chronic cooking because it's not promoting a helpful eating habit. But you said honey, right? <laughs> I, I decided to call changing. myself Dory from Finding Nemo oh. because my memory is not very good, my short term uh, memory. And it's like Dory because she's a fish. Yeah. And her memory is not good. Yeah. So just. What am I having on my bread? Honey! It's not too sweet, actually. Oh, that's good. Mm. I don't think I've had just right in 10 years. So. Mm -hmm. What do you normally have for breakfast, then? Look, um, breakfast for me is equally a discipline. At the moment, I've got Cheerios. <laughs> and look, a bowl of Cheerios sometimes is just the best medicine to wake up because I like the name. I don't have Cheerios. Cheerios. 
so it's going to cheer me up and give me the strength I need for the day. Right. But otherwise, it just depends. Yeah. I usually like to have a piece of fruit before I start breakfast. I always feel great when I have fruit in breakfast. And then you can have the unhealthy thing after And then that. I yeah. have whatever, yeah, so if it's um, Cheerios or if it's oats, I like mm -hmm. muesli and yogurt if I have more time. Um, another thing, which maybe I'll have to come back yeah. um, and do another segment on overnight oats. <gasps> um, yeah, I've got this recipe for it's got coconut yogurt and mangoes. It's a little bit more expensive, so better for a special holiday treat, but wow. it's really tasty and you can put it, like package it, you know, it keep, keeps for a couple of mornings. Mm -hmm. So if you know you've got two busy days, um, you can contain a two packs of overnight oats. It's fresh, it's delicious, and it's healthy. So, right. so our next video, next segment. our next breakfast video will be sleepover party overnight oats. Yay! Have a great day! Cheers! So, we finished our breakfast. How was it? It was really delicious, um, but we've just been reflecting on some things that we would change next time mm. in the process. Um, for me, um, I feel like just right was a surprise. It's actually a really delicious cereal. Yeah. It's really healthy. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't had it in Yeah, it wasn't so years. sweet as what I was expecting. I really recommend it. Um, again, the mistake we made was to pour the milk into the cereal and make so toast at the same time. Yeah. So <laughs> next time we'll break that up a little bit. And um, we talked about sitting at a bench mm. where you can have the toaster, the toast ready to go, the bread ready to go to toast. Mm. Um, so that you can eat the cereal while it's crunchy and fresh and then you can pop your bread down yeah. and then follow optimum soakage um, time. So yeah, I think next time that will be a recommended process. Um, but otherwise the toast was delicious. Mm -hmm. The honey was delicious. The butter was delicious. <laughs> the butter was delicious. Um, we made sure we had a glass of water each, which is really good. Go and grab one right now. For hydration and for digestion as well mm. um, throughout the day. So, mm -hmm. And I remember to take my remember. medication. You remember so to take that. I feel like it's a good morning. It's been a good morning. I feel a little bit more awake now. <laughs> Give me another you hour. Look well and awake. Like, you look wonderful. <laughs> talk properly. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining. Yeah, thank you for coming. And it's my pleasure. Um, I'm going to ask Emily to write out the recipe and we'll have oh, that yes. in the description below. So make yeah. sure you subscribe so you'll be able to watch our sleepover soaked overnight soaked oats. Absolutely. And Emily will teach us how to make it just right. right Bye. Bye.